Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to Walmart Wax Wednesday. Today we are talking about Birchwood Bonfire by Better Homes and Gardens, and this was chosen by DM. Thank you so much. Let's talk scent notes, and I did find scent notes on the Walmart website, and it is quite a list of scent notes. White birch, oak wood, and aromatic cedar balanced with warm moss and amber wrapped oud nestled with spices, green herbs, sandalwood, and musk. That's quite a mouthful. Um, so definitely, I well, first of all, I'm gonna say it's a thumbs up for me. I really, really like this one a lot, a lot. I probably would like to pick up a few more of these. Um, now, it's not super smoky, so it's not like grilling and chilling from Scentsy. That was like a hickory barbecue in your kitchen. It was not good. This is good. I definitely get the, the woodsy, oaky notes, the oud, but I get the amber with it. And the amber, and I don't know, I think it's the musk, give this a slightly masculine, but clean outdoorsy scent. And I'm going to borrow somebody else's line. It might've been Heidi's. It probably sounds just like something Heidi would say uh, in a good way, um, that if a man took a shower and then came outside and stood beside you at a bonfire, that's what it is. It's the fresh, it's the shower, it's the manly, masculine, plus, the woodsy notes and a little, a little bit of a smoky note. I mean, not a lot. Uh, I, like I said, I really, really enjoy this. The throw on this is pretty darn good too. Seven and a half, eight out of 10. Um, do I get the spice? They say there's spices in here. I don't. Do I get the green herbs? Possibly that might be what's giving it the green fresh note that I'm smelling. Um, and I know it's kind of, you know, um, To, to say fresh and amber because amber for me is kind of like a deep warm kind of um, musky note, but I am getting a freshness from it as well. And that because maybe from the oud as well, because I kind of get fresh from oud wood and I don't know if I'm misinterpreting that. I possibly could be, I don't know. But anyway, I really, really enjoy it. Yes, I'll probably get a few more. Um, and then one of my subscribers also asked, and I apologize, I forgot to write your name down. Um, and I, I was already filming when I thought of that. But anyway, the question was, how does this com compare to Sensi's around the campfire? Because and a lot of different companies are making bonfire, campfire blends. Um, so around the campfire definitely is more smoky. It doesn't have a sweet note like um, Marshmallow Fireside, for instance, or it doesn't have the fresh, musky, manly note that Birchwood Bonfire has. It's just kind of a smoky camp campfire note, exactly as the name says. And I, don't, I did not pull up the scent description. Um, uh, yeah, so that's everything. So they're they're different, and as I said a few minutes ago, the other scent, kind of smoky note uh, from the Father's Day collection was chilling and grilling, which again was not good it, to me and my nose, in my opinion. It was like a hickory bonfire in your kitchen, a hickory barbecue. But anyway, so this is good. I really enjoyed it. Think, as I said, um, fresh man gets out of a shower and comes stands right next to you in front of a bonfire. That all those scents together, that's kind of what that is for me. And as I said, I really enjoyed it. It's a thumbs up. So next week, our choices are Enchanted, Pumpkin Cider, Amaretto and Blood Orange, and Lemon Blueberry Donuts. Like this, everybody's talking about this one. The one I really wanted to get that I did not see at two different Walmarts is the Mainstays Pumpkins and Plums, or Plums and Pumpkins, I'm not sure. So I'm going to keep looking for that one. Uh, until next week then I will see you then the first person to respond down below with their first pick that I see that comes across my feed that's the one I will pick and melt and review next Wednesday I hope everybody has a fabulous week I will see you soon bye